Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. In today's video, I'm going to show you the market is divided, bearish, bullish. I'm going to show you like six amazing charts for you to decide if you feel bullish or bearish after, of course. But I um, can tell you, it doesn't really matter to me, but I'm going to show you why. But I'm also going to show you the most bearish chart I've ever seen and the bullish uh, pattern that I see at the moment. So uh, enjoy the complete video, guys. It will be one of the last videos from Mexico out of my garden. Let's quickly jump into it. Bam. Here, <clears throat> first chart, guys. Four hour chart, yes, of course. Again, showing you the BAM BAM indicator because I cannot say anything bad at the moment about it. Look, long, you buy over there, spot trading, you buy at the flags, you sell at the red flag, you buy at the green flag, you sell at the red flag, you buy at the green flag, you sell at the red flag, and you buy at the green flag. I can't make it more easy. If you leverage trade, you need to consider the down um, movements here in the BAM BAM, uh, the hills in green or the blue or the yellow, but I will educate you more about that in the YouTube. You can find the playlist. I mean, sorry for that. So you can make some profits. Yes, just following up the BAM BAM indicator. Now, let's go into this chart. This I made this chart <clears throat> at the moment we had this death cross over there um, in May. No, sorry, the dead cross here on uh, 20th of June. And at that moment, I told you guys, the dead cross is lagging behind because the crash was on the 10th of May. Like you can see over there, maybe I need to draw a little bit. On the 10th of May, that was the crash. The dead cross was over there. And I told you at that moment, that was the same like the previous time. The crash was on the 8th of March. The dead cross was the 26th of March. It was lagging behind. When the dead cross happened, the price, this green line, was already going up. Okay? You can pause the video and go through them from 1, 2, and then all the way to uh, 5 at the moment, so you can see it for yourself what I mean. Now, on the 10th of May, we had the crash. Um, the dead cross was on the 19th of June, so that was lagging behind. And at the moment the dead cross appeared, the price was already going up. You see the green line going up. And then the dead cross formed the global cross again. So the 50 MA crossing the 200 MA. Now, for December again, we had that crash. 16th of the January, we had the death cross. That's lagging behind. The moment this death cross happened, the price is again going up already. So this green line can continue downwards a little bit, curl up again, and make that cross across this red line. And that would be then somewhere in March, for example. And we had the same cup that we had here. We get again. And what did we get after? The huge run from 30k to 69k. Maybe we can get again, get that same run, maybe now to 70k. <clears throat> this is the bullish um, way I look at this chart. I'm going to delete the last circle so you can pause the video. And if you pause it, you can just... Um, do your own research on what I found about the death cross and the golden cross. Okay, now on the weekly chart we can see the still the same and the bam. I'm waiting for this long flag. This long flag was there. That long flag was there. I'm waiting for that long flag. This green candle is a beautiful candle to be a reversal candle, a long wick to the downside, and a small body. Now this candle needs to stay green and another green and maybe another green and then we will get a long flag and that long flag will make my long for the weekly chart and I will take that long with the bitcoins that I sold over there at the short flag and then I will hope we go to a higher high if the BAM is right we are right again now monthly the same guys <coughs> we found support here on this beautiful 21 moving average um, we need to make a green candle in my opinion but this candle is going to close in 24 days so we have a lot of time guys be before I go to the last few charts really cool charts you need to see um, please remember every time down below the videos in the description or in the first comment I share the links to the changes where you get the biggest bonuses on Bybit you get a four thousand one hundred dollar bonus you get thirty percent free discount so on the trading fees thirty percent discount so this is massive if you trade with one or more bitcoins you get a huge fees uh, discount and you also get access to the launchpad so Bybit at the moment is my number one exchange I really like it uh, 
the interface, user interface is just perfect and it's just massive when it comes to giving people bonuses and giving back the profit they make to the community. So that's why I support Bybit every time again and again and again. Prime XBT also a huge bonus. I don't think it's a 50% anymore. I think it's, it's about 7,000 US dollar bonus at the moment. Uh, and the Femix has a $1,200 bonus. So use those things also to book your trips, also to go to schools, digital schools for nomads. The links are all down below the videos. So you don't need to send me the direct messages for that again. Um, because I'm getting too many. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, I can't respond to them all. Let's jump now into the next few really cool charts. Let's go over them here. <coughs> Let's start with the most bearish chart I have seen so far. And I want to share that with you. And it's very bearish. If you look at this chart, then you can see this is the 2014 move over here. And you can see that when we broke the fifth, this is the on the weekly chart, so every candle is a week, so guys. The, we broke the 50. When we broke that one, we went all the way to the 100 MA. And when we broke that, that one, we dipped all the way to the 200 MA. We touched it. You see this? Green, orange to the red line. Now, <coughs> in total, this was a 86.74% drop. If we look at 2017, we did the same. When we touched the green, we broke that one, we went to the orange, we broke that one, and then we went all the way down to the 200. In total, 84% drop. You can pause the video again to check it all yourself. So that was the crypto winter. Now, if we look to now, again, we touched the green. We are now touching the orange. Do we keep support on this orange? If we keep support, okay, that's nice. If we break it, we could go to the 200, and the 200 is at 20k. 20k is the previous all-time high, this red line, you can see it. So breaking that one would be the first time in history. So I think this one is moving up at the moment with <clears throat> about, I think, uh, phew, 30, 20 or 30 dollar a day. So that, like in a month, this will be 21k the the 200 ma so this is going up the longer this takes the higher the 200 ma is so the higher we will stay above previous all-time high um, and if you look at this support level is a 12k support level <coughs> that one is from 2019 august we can see that there was a huge resistance but that would be in my opinion almost impossible for bitcoin but this is the most bearish car chart i could find and i also want to share the bearish view you can also see the rsi in the top you know can you can see the red line coming down all the way to the bottom now that one is forming here as well the red line all the way to the bottom so that could um, take till all the way i think somewhere in april may that we could touch that so that is the bearish view i'm not bearish yet to be very clear i will stay bullish Till the moment is there that we create uh, lower lows on the weekly. Now, the bullish view for me is this chart. I've shared this also on Twitter. I made it a little bit sarcastic on Twitter, but for me, I just don't understand why people don't see this. The gray line is the Bitcoin price. So the gray line is the Bitcoin price. The yellow line is the entity adjusted dormancy flow. And I'm going to keep it very simple. If you want to know what it is, Google it then you can technically understand what it means but for me and to keep it simple to you guys is every time the yellow line goes into this green box what do you see happening to the price after just check it the last five times we went into this green box what happened to the price after that and that's how simple it is that is what they call TA. You look at the past, you look to the left on the chart, you look what happened the previous times when this happened. And every time we touched it, afterwards the price went up. Even the last time we dipped into it like a toe into the green box and we went from 30k to 70k. We are dipping very deep into this green box, almost as deep as the moment over here in 2012. Almost as deep as the moment here in 2015. From that moment, Bitcoin 200 to 20k. So I'm just showing you every time it dips into the green box, you should buy. And that's what I'm doing. I'm buying every dip. If I still have US dollar Tito left from the Bitcoins that I sold a little bit on the top, I'm buying back now again a little bit. So, yes, 
these charts are very important and then we have this chart over here as well this one i've shared it many more times um this one i found on twitter i think created by deep dive thanks for creating the cool chart and um, the bitcoin price weighted by the Maya multiple i showed you the Maya multiple which is telling you if bitcoin is uh, oversold or um, like let's say overcooled or overheated that's that's the more easy easy way to explain it you can see that over here here <clears throat> on the red uh, areas that's when it's overheated and when the price needs to reverse you know and that's the mostly the blow of tops now we had a blow of top over there that was overheated now we don't see a blow of top at the moment we see dark green dark green means overcooled now look to the bottom chart every time when we get into the dark green area make it perfect this is a dark green area what happens with the bitcoin price after we go up we go to the cooled then to the neutral then to the heated and then to the overheated and that's how bitcoin moves up and down up and down up and down so for me at the moment massive buy opportunities and if you zoom out a little bit more and you look at this chart this is the bitcoin halving price index um we can see over here that the halving happened over there if you look at the previous cycles then the first cycle from the halving to the top it went times 92 the second cycle it went times 30 at the moment we are times 4.3 yes we went a little bit higher like i think around seven over here but 4.3 that's lower almost than the bottom that is lower than the bottom of the second idol, uh, cycle the second cycle the second halving this one over here to 2016 the bottom was even higher <laughs> than we are seeing now over here so for me this is not logical for me the logical power would be now a pump to the top over there around like 14 times and then yes for me that could be something um, as a top above 85k so that's for me also a very positive chart guys so what i want to tell you now um, is very simple let's go bam over here so yes it matters to me that bacon goes up and down but i'm not freaking out because the goal is for me accumulating bitcoin and i can only accumulate bitcoin if bitcoin moves up and down or if i do um, work that pays me in bitcoin but for me trading is kind of my work and there i need this bitcoin to be a little bit volatile so whatever happens in the long term like in the next five ten years i believe bitcoin will be much higher than we are now like few hundred k to a million so it's very important that in the short term i accumulate bitcoin and that is why i use the bam bam indicator i just keep buying and selling and buying and selling and buying and selling to make more bitcoins also i trade altcoins also i invest in companies but i invest in those companies in those altcoins to create more bitcoins because i believe in the long term bitcoin will go up massively and you have this four year cycle every time again and again and again so that is why i focus on accumulated bitcoin by trading by investing by hodling by doing everything i can to earn some more bitcoins so that is needs to be a healthy mix in your portfolio on how you um, attack the market i hope you really enjoyed this video i hope you understand the video again 15 minutes i'm very sad that my video yesterday only got 1500 views that was a beautiful video on how i'm building the school here in mexico maybe you take the time to watch it again um, but even if not i hope you enjoyed this one so if you did enjoy it give the thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell, and leave a comment and let me know what you think about these charts and about this video again thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bye